Hello, brothers and sisters. I got a word for you today. Man, we ask, why do I keep hitting turmoil? Why do I feel God's hands against me? Why do I keep, why do people keep using my past against me? Why do I, why am I not growing? Why am I not learning? Why am I not memorizing things? I consider this. Those who, blessed are those who show mercy, or who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. The standard of judgment you use will be get, get used against you. So if you're not recognizing the spiritual growth in others, how are you going to expect to grow? If you're not recognizing the spirit moving in others, do you expect to be used of the Spirit to move in you? If you are holding someone's past against them and walking in unforgiveness, can you expect God to just bless you every second? When you're not seeing the growth in somebody else because you're so blinded by unforgiveness and hate? You're so blinded by what they did to you before that you're not willing to see God working in them. And then you're like, okay, why is my past being used against me? Because you're using theirs against them. See, God's not looking at your past. God's looking at your growth. He's going to judge you by your growth. And if you ain't doing that, don't expect anything. Don't expect to learn. Don't expect to grow because you're not seeing others growing. And then and then we would just want to run away from it and not learn from it. Maybe I'm not treating others as I should. So God has given me the same standard that I'm giving to them. It's rough, but it's truth. We, we get so blind, so caught up in our own life, in our own hurts, that we're not seeing how God is moving in others, and we're just holding what they've done to us against them. And God will do the same thing to us. The standard of judgment you use will be used against you. So if you want to prosper, if you want to grow, if you want to be an encouragement, examine your heart. Be sure you're not destroying others in your mind. Be sure you're not running like Jonah because you don't want them to be forgiven be sure that that moment of turmoil you had between each other isn't the very means through your forgiveness to help that person grow towards Christ we are blessed with every moment we are given every, we, we can think that okay the um I was taught, or, okay, their sin, how they act, it was exposed to me because I'm supposed to dismiss them. No, that's not always true. That's because maybe it was given to you so you can forgive because nobody else may be praying for them. And you who have such knowledge, you who have such wisdom you who are so proud in your ways of god why can't you reflect it we should consider it a gift we should consider that we're going to rely on the holy spirit to to take down whatever foundation is stuck in somebody else's life that we are going to rely on him to 
take captive all the thoughts and bring them to obedience. But if we can't, if we are just blinded by our unforgiveness, don't expect peace in your life. Don't expect prosperity. Don't expect your life to get easier. Because that measurement is going to come right back at you. And it can be for discipline. But the more blinded you are to it, the worse it's going to get. No matter where you go. God bless y'all. Love y'all. Bye.